Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to Detroit Become Human Part 7. We are just gonna pick up exactly where we left off. So Marcus was on his way to finding Jericho. Let's get back into the game. Oh yeah, we had just dived off that really big like boat thing and into this water so probably not the best idea in the world i mean he is still pretty much recovering from being in the uh, the android graveyard so probably not come on remote why is it not working okay there we go this is very dark <laughs> I doubt this is working, but let's- oh, it's a torch. I thought it was a phone. I was like, why is there um, Is there a phone down here? Oh god, this seems- this seems creepy. I'm not gonna lie. This is the darkest area I have been in. Also, not the best because currently the weather is super bright outside. Okay, so that door, not working. Is this a- okay, this is a door frame. Oh, nope, nope. I hear movement. Are we on an abandoned boat? I think we are. Also locked. I'm guessing we have to head down this way. I'm guessing all of these doors will be locked. <laughs> I think I guessed correctly. If this is Jericho, like, who the hell is planning on saving us? What the frick was that? I don't think I want to turn my back on it. I'm not gonna lie. Where did it even come from, man? This place is, like, decked out. I'm guessing it's an android. It's fine. It's an android. Can I pick up a fire extinguisher to help me whack it over the head if it makes a return? Careful, Marcus. I am stressed out. Where the hell did that thing go? This is like I am legend. Oh no. This is a big, wide, freaking open area. I did not sign up for this. I'm not even gonna lie. Why is he pointing the thing down? Run. Oh god, it's gonna be a quick time. Oh, rip. Ouch. He is in the wars. Nothing good has happened to Marcus since Carl died. I'm surprised he's even, oh god, there are many, many androids. Welcome to Jericho. Isn't that the guy from the first scene? Wasn't that- what was his name? Not Ralph. The one with the little girl. That Connor- that- the first scene that we were in. I cannot remember his name for the life of me, which is not a good start for this game. Uh, read on the run, read Android Astronauts. Was there another thing to read? Follow the signs, leave the street, continue on the Jericho Trail. So we basically followed the most linear path, I guess, um, to Jericho. What was his name? I'm, I'm thinking Aiden for some reason, but I don't think it is Aiden. Say hi- Daniel! I was trying to think of her line because I played that scene like so much because it's the demo. She's like, say hi Daniel! Daniel. I think that was him. Why the heck is Daniel- has Daniel been like repaired? Well, 
We shot him though. He's looking good. Hank is neutral. Oh man. I want him to be warm. Reconcile. Oh god. I can't like call Hank. Like I can't like when we have options to choose, I'm like, what would he even appreciate at this point in time? Like, I don't think he likes me being straight up with him, but then I thought he would. I don't know. It's tough. Come on, this is different. It's 100% guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Who are you, mate? Pedro. Unemployed. Criminal record. Illegal gambling. Fraud. It's weird to see a person this old who was born in 2005. Like, I was freaking. How old was I in 2005? I was 11 in 2005. Like, I'm gonna be older than him. That's weird. <laughs> Alright, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Poor Connor. Apologize, partners, reconcile. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look. He sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're gonna be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. <gasps> I wanna be a buddy! There you go. What's he got? Is it a burger? Hamburger. Oh, I could so eat a hamburger uh, right now. Thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Uh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Maybe we should just not follow him. They like ice hockey, man. Always seems to be on the TV in this game. See? I am not following you yet. Oh, maybe I am. Gambling cholesterol. He won't enjoy me talking about his cholesterol. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. <gasps> oh, Connor. Uh, free meal? You didn't pay for your meal. Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. Uh, about Connor. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> they made a mistake on you, boy. Deviants. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. See? Understand now, Hank? Emotions always screw everything up. True that. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. Oh, we can't leave? Can I, I was hoping we could just question, leave. Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? Ah. I have indeed. I dealt with Daniel. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Not really. 
Lie or truth? Truth. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years and you spend a lot of time Basically, we're just nosy AF at this point. So what's your conclusion? Sincere psychological cult. Sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <gasps> no wink, man. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. This seems suspicious. Not gonna lie. He kind of went a little bit unstable with the yellow. Maybe he was just receiving a message, but... Seems kind of hey, shady. Connor. You ran out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. <gasps> Question the suspect. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. <laughs> hey, were you really making a report back there? Sorry, Hank. Feathers. Rock pigeon. You're in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. <laughs> This is what I'm saying. Life would be so much easier if you were a freaking android. Hmm. Well, we kind of knew that was going to happen. Wouldn't be that easy, would it? Anybody home? Was that a shoe squeak? Open up, Detroit police! Oh, shoot. Stay behind me. Got it. This is tense music. Oh no, I don't like this. Oh, why? Why you gotta be so tense? He said stay behind him, but kind of want to have a look at things, not gonna lie. <laughs> Red Ice Epidemic. World War Three. I'm surprised it hasn't come before now, to be honest. Synthetic stimulant, informally known as Red Ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's growing underclass. Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical competition is uniquely dangerous. Therium. Um, ah, okay. So it's made from the same things that the androids use for blood. Go to the next page. No, wait, next. Green Earth, past the tipping point. Earth's environment officially beyond repair are these mazes on the wall they look like mazes they're everywhere okay i'm behind you. oh pigeons what the fuck is this oh pigeons Investigate the apartment. Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. There's a lot of freaking pigeons in here. No wonder it stinks. Well, uh, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Let me just have a look around, okay? Don't get too, too excited. Oh, what's that? Military jacket, secondhand initials RT. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Ew, what is that? Stop licking everything! 
blue blood. What? It's just blue blood. <gasps> and a chip. LED. So he got rid of it. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking patients. I mean, the woman out of Home Alone definitely could. RA9, once again. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. Jeez, that's a lot of times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. That's what I said! Damn it, I could be a detective. Obsessive compulsive writing. Stool recently disturbed traces of avian fecal matter. I mean, I'm not surprised with how many freaking pigeons are around. Opened marker pen, still wet, used recently. Midnight mood, black. <laughs> That's my mood. Suspect was here recently. Suspect ran to the living room. Okay. I can't see anything in here. Oh. Michigan, fake ID, Rupert Travis, RT. The driver's license is fake. Cool, at least we didn't come for nothing. So he had a fake ID with fake initials in his jacket to make it look more legit. Cares for wild animals. Ah, Jesus, I hate these birds. <gasps> my mum, this would be my mum's worst nightmare. She absolutely hates birds. Like, with a passion. This would be my worst nightmare, to be honest. If I was trapped in this tiny little room with all these freaking birds, no thank you. I did not sign up for this. Look how much shit is on the floor. Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Urban farm poster. Fields in the heart of the city. These are um, androids, I think, who work on this farm. Because Ralph was one of them. Recycled paper recently moved. Electronic books, you can't smell the paper. See the pages See, turning See, I yellow. do prefer physical books. You have no idea what I'm talking about. I do. I do, Hank. I understand. I feel like a brother. Another maze. Loads of mazes. They look like crop circles. Bird seed. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Right. More birds. <laughs> look at all those chickens. I don't think there was anything in there. I got too too distracted by vine references. Oh, a birdcage. Was Taylor Swift here? Skid mark, recent. Oh, an actual skid mark, not like a skid mark in underwear. I thought it meant like a, like, thingy skid mark. <laughs> Metal hook, recently broken. Finger marks. Traces of avian fecal matter. No fingerprints. Does that mean it was the android? Is 
Suspect ran towards entrance. So he was over here, from the bathroom, knocked it down. Oh, that... Suspect heard us enter. Oh, okay. Suspect is still here. <gasps> He's up in the hole. Get up there, Connor. <gasps> I found him. God damn fucking pigeons. What are you waiting for? Chase it. I was waiting for your instructions. Okay, quick time. Oh, I had to do that. <laughs> R2, what? Fast but risky, easy but slow. Uh, fast but risky. Why not? Safe for detour, balanced. Balanced. Safe for detour, detour but crowded. Detour but crowded. Look out! Come on, Connor, keep going! I need to remember to keep running. Oh god. Where did he go? Okay. We got him. Come on, keep running. I don't know where I'm meant to be going. Faster but risky, direct but slow. Risky, go risky. Go risky. Oh, that was quick. This is so tense. <laughs> I have to concentrate so hard. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're so close to his tail, man. We can get him. Safe but slow, crowded but direct. Go, go, go. I don't care if it's crowded. Look out! Quick, just keep on his tail. Just keep on. <laughs> We're on the way! These people, man, always getting in my way. Oh god, this is like a horror film. <gasps> Hank's got him! Oh no, Hank! Oh no, do we save Hank? Oh god. Survival 89%. Oh crap. That's a high survival rate, right? Please tell me that's a high survival chance. I don't want to lose Hank, man. Please. I've done nothing wrong. You must have done something. I just wanted to be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Ah oh, crap. Let's go, mate. Model 87400-4961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. You've been deemed effective and will be sent back to cyber Okay, he's activities. alive. I can chill. Don't you fucking move. Is he going to tell me off? <gasps> you bastard. You saw I was going to fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Oh, Jesus. God. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. I'm sorry, Frank. I thought he'd be pissed. Frank? Hank? Why are you doing this? All oh, right. You're one of us. Shut up. You're helping humans. You're just their slave. I said, shut up! 
I thought he would be pissed if we saved him Come and on. let him go. So that's why I didn't save him. He had like an 89% chance of survival. Hey, what the fuck? Oh great, he gets away anyway. Well done, Hank. Holy shit. Solid work there, my friend. Fucking androids. You are the one who lost him! You muppet. God damn it, Hank. Oh man. Rupert committed suicide. Damn it. Oh, follow Rupert. <laughs> oh, only 21% of people. Uh, so, wow, a lot of people saved Hank. Damn it, I knew I should have saved him. Oh. Back with Marcus and Daniel. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. Oh, that's not no, Daniel. I'm... It looks like Daniel. Jericho. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. Uh, refuge. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. Trail. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. This place where we can be free. Find Jericho. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Lost, somber, lucid, direct. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. He well looks like Daniel. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Who the heck is Lucy? I guess Lucy's the one singing. Find Lucy. Explore Jericho. I want at least a little bit of light in this place. Oh, this one looks dead, man. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after You really death? don't look too chirpy, my friend. No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. Can't someone help her? What's your name? Marcus. Glad to meet you, Marcus. Oh, okay. She's gone, apparently. I'm assuming that's what that means. Could really no one have helped her? I guess they live underground, so they don't really have many supplies. Kind of makes sense. Josh. Oh my god, who's the kid? They don't make kid androids, do they? They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. 
but there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. I didn't know kids could be androids. I guess if you can't have a kid or anything, then you can maybe, like, adopt an android, perhaps? That's so strange. I would have never thought kids could be androids as well. He looks like a Ken doll. <laughs> oh, can we not go through there? Can we start another fire? We just hear light and all the fires. I don't know why. I'm a fire starter. You can't stop me. No, to be fair, I just want more light if I'm honest. I like this chick. North. Northwest? Is that you? How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, 11 hours. <laughs> when I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Spare parts wounded. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. You can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Go to the graveyard. Well, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Marcus is well gonna try and save everybody. I can see it in him. Carl definitely left a lot of humanity in Marcus, for sure. Always telling him he could be who he wanted to be. He's gonna do exactly that. He's definitely gonna be a strong part in the rebellion. This guy's on his last legs too. This is so sad. Not in very good shape. <laughs> 420. So many 420s in this game. My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think you would have anything good to say anyway. But you are dying. Death they in a minute. To the back of a car. To the car? I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. I don't want to shut down. I want to help them! So who the heck is Lucy? Oh, she tucked away behind these curtains. Why is it always the leader has their own, like, private quarters? Lucy doesn't have a head! Are you Lucy? Oh, she's scary. Sit down. Oh, I don't like her. Show me. What are we showing her? Oh, our damage. I'll stop the bleeding. Gonna melt us back together. Handy. Very handy to know. Blue blood. Drink this. Surely there's people who need it more than Marcus does. Maybe she knows how important he's gonna become. Oh, he didn't spare any of that. He was just like, yep, I got this. We like to drink with Marcus. <laughs> Downed it in one. Give me your hand. Can 
she see everything we've gone through? You had it all. I did indeed. And you lost it all. Correct among no. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Well, that's a strong weight to carry on his shoulders. Good job he's a strong man. Holy crap. So the whole weight of the androids rests upon Marcus and myself. I've explored Jericho, right? We go upstairs. Is there a side to Jericho we haven't explored yet? Oh, there's two things over there that we haven't done. My bad. <gasps> Another fire. My favorite thing to do. Who said you can't have fun in Jericho? When you have a lighter, anything is possible. I'm guessing we have to speak to that guy or something. Oh no. Open. Crate already emptied. Oh, are they like spare parts and stuff? Cyberlife. Cyberlife Warehouse and Docks, West Torrance Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. How far away is it? Propose a plan to Simon. Simon says. Oh, Simon, I can go out and get you parts. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't Duh. have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Hey, notes on our side. Maybe it's worth a try. Come on, Josh. Okay. There we go. I'm in. That's what I'm talking about. Start of the freaking rebellion. <gasps> that was my first 100% complete, I think. I mean, there really wasn't that much to do, but like, that's pretty good. Everyone's feeling neutral about us. The public are also still feeling skeptical, but I'm gonna leave this part here, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Detroit. I'm sorry that like sometimes my commentary isn't like always happening, but I do like to pay attention to these kind of games. So when the characters are kind of having like dialogue between them, I don't really like talking over them a lot of the time because I like to hear the story as well as you guys. So I do get kind of into watching the, um, the storylines come into fruition, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. I don't even think we're like halfway through this game yet. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think it's quite a long game, so I really don't know how far in we are, but it seems like the story is only just like picking up. So I'm fairly sure we have quite a while to go indeed, but thank you all so much for watching and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys!